there are really three primary purposes in having done this paper. One is to provide one example of what I think is sustainable e-learning practice from a practitioner perspective. The second doing the paper is to provide a case example of problem-based <coughs> learning which involves group-based activities of as authentic a nature as one can and where there's peer-moderated assessment. And the, the third purpose, which is the title of the paper today, is to do a little bit of an evaluation on the usefulness of uh, wikis. At a fundamental level, wikis are often categorised called e-learning 2.0 or web 2.0, which to a great degree represents a change in the way that technology for education has been thought about and prominently represents a shift from an emphasis on transmission-based teaching and learning to a more constructivist approach. In terms of the data that I'll show you, it's based on a post-course survey of a very small scale. All of these people are currently employed as teachers in the vocational sector and they're undertaking postgraduate studies in teacher training. I was interested with wikis where there's a very high level of optimism in the literature. So I did a bit of a search on uh, eight of the major educational databases for wiki and education and I came up with 633 publications, 632 of which I would classify as being in the form of promotion, description, technical matters and declarations with no evidence whatsoever. And I found one report that provided information related to student satisfaction. So I thought, well, maybe it's a bit early to find stuff in the academic journal. So I looked at the conference papers from the 2007 Ascolite conference, and of all the papers that were presented, only one paper provided any empirical evidence uh, related to the use of wiki. Based on that, that I was interested to find out what people that I deal with. The wiki was implemented in, in the context of, of a course called Facilitating Learning in the Workplace, and in the first place we engaged in eight lecture tutorial sessions. There were then uh, five wiki supported sessions. They were based on a, a problem based approach and a group based activity with about four or five learners in each group based on trying to get a representation of males and females, people who had experience in workplace learning, people who didn't have experience in workplace learning and so on and so forth. And the case based examples commenced with minimal detail. I engaged in an induction session early on which focused on two aspects. Firstly, the operation of the group, and secondly, the operation of the technology. So here we have uh, the pages that are involved as a home page, page on team details, design considerations, design principles, designs considered, recommendations, records of meetings, and references and resources. Now that's the shell I give them. There's not very much on each of those pages. They're free to change the shell to a different configuration or different sets of pages if they want the, uh, the problem. Your team's required to develop a work-based training plan for the context described below. So the expectation is that as a group, they will work as a consultant in a consultancy fashion. The information they get is very brief. ABC Packaging produces packing materials um, that are sold through retail outlets, and basically then it goes on to say that they're undergoing a change that um, in this company, it's a long-established company, primarily mechanical production going to a more computerised production. So they're now charged with that information to go away and, and create a training. As part of the process, what they do is they make appointments with me as the manager of this particular business. and They go away and work as a group to construct the questions that they need to answer. They need answered in order to develop the training plan. Now, in addition to this wiki, there are also some websites that I give them that have got fantastic resources that I have not had to develop um, that talk about developing a training plan. They make regular meetings with me, appointments of 20 minutes, work it as a formal meeting between consultants and, and manager, and they will ask me questions, and basically I make up the answers so that they're consistent with the theme. This one here is regarding uh, design considerations. On this page, they're expected to describe the char characteristics of the assessment solution and conduct a strengths and weaknesses anal analysis of, the, of that particular solution. Uh, they then, having come up with a set of uh, principles and a set of options, they then determine their set of recommendations. And again, this is all the information they get on the page. Um, and uh, they also have to provide records of all the meetings. This is the demographics, which I really won't spend very much time on, apart from to say that their technical skill level varies. Most of them rate themselves intermediate. One rates themselves as a beginner, four recognise themselves as experienced. In terms of uh, the ease of access and use of the wiki, you can see quite clearly that the vast majority uh, say that found them easy to access and, and, and easy to use. 
Um, only one person indicated that the, the wiki was difficult to use, and this was the individual who also rated themselves as a beginner. They had no trouble accessing the wiki. What they had trouble with was actually using the wiki. What did they like about the wikis and what, what didn't they like? about them. They liked the flexibility of access and use. They liked the idea of a single centralised document. They liked the idea that you could track previous ed edits and they really liked the idea that there was no, no requirement for a hard copy submission. So this wiki was the submission. One person said that the initial setup was not as intuitive as they would have liked it to be. These are, they were looking for more technical capacity, you know, similar in the vein of sort of Microsoft Word type capacity. Some of them tried to use the, the discussion option on the wiki. They found it really wasn't very effective. They went back to other options like email. Whilst they liked flexibility of access and use, if one of the complaints for one group was that there was a bit of a problem in coordinating who was changing what. And the other comment, the last one, is that not all members participated. Now, these are not comments that are atypical of uh, group-based learning, and I think it's hard to attribute those concerns to the wiki, the concern about group dynamic. So, in terms of teaching recommendations, was that they would have liked a quick reference guide that would have helped them at the beginning of the wiki. And then once they get going and they've started to use the wiki, they were then saying, well, how do I use it to support really good learning? So I've got over the technical stuff. Now I want to know how I can use it to learn. In terms of continued use, uh, you can see that nine uh, support the continued use in the existing program and eight said that they would like to see wikis in other courses. This is, a, this is an indicator that they see value in the wikis. There were six people who said that they felt that wikis had potential in their own teaching, that they might be able to use them. And of those, three said that they went, were, would intend to use wikis within the next 12 months. One was unsure and one said no. Where people saw the potential but they weren't going to implement. The reasons that they talked about in terms of implementation were much more about organisational infrastructure, the culture of the organisation that they were in, that it would be very difficult for them to implement. Them, implement. So in terms of what have I learned, um, the experience matters. All of the people in this group who said that they saw potential for wikis and they would implement within 12 months had rated themselves as experienced users of technology and found wikis easy to access and easy to use. Secondly, really wikis don't do everything. Probably if you're looking for communication, it's better to use something else. And uh, it's limited in because of the, the format of the interface. And it certainly doesn't fix the problems of group dynamics. You still have to keep on top of them. And in, that, in this sort of scenario, I still think that the teacher is absolutely critical in maintaining the effectiveness of the whole thing. 